How do we move? How do we do? How do we, what is our next step now that we're saved? Firstly, sanctification is working, or the process of sanctification is working when we learn from a master teacher. Sanctification is working when we learn from a master teacher. Luke 6, 40. A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone, when he is fully trained, will be like his teacher. All a disciple is is a student of the teacher or a leader or a philosopher. So is your training ever over? Is there a point in time when you can say, I've learned everything there is to know about God? Is there a point in time when you say, I have this whole thing figured out? I have the understanding. In fact, maybe people would even call you an expert in that area about God. I don't think any of that's true. I think our training is never over. Our training is never done. Because everyone is fully trained. So what does learning from this teacher do? Namely, the master teacher is Jesus, right? He's the who we're talking about. So learning from him means we have to learn from him. We have to sit at his feet. We have to get into the word. We have to read what the Bible says. Jesus is our master teacher. Learning from the master teacher also means we have to be intentional with our focus. You know that there's so many distractions in this world from what we see on the computer and getting the email and the news and everything else. There's so many distractions that pull our focus away from what God is intending for us. So we can't learn from anybody else unless we're, if we're distracted. Learning from the master teacher means you have to be intentional with your time. This has a lot to do, again, with our focus. What are we focused on? How do we use our time when we're by ourselves? And this one kind of st- stuck with me. Learning from that master teacher means you have to show up to class. You can't learn from somebody if you're not willing to sit at their feet and learn from them. You can't learn from somebody if you're not engaged in that relationship. So learning from the master teacher means you have to show up to class, but also maybe it means you need to take notes. I don't know about you, but in school, I didn't have to take a whole lot of notes. I actually could sleep through a lot of classes and still get straight A's, and I apologize to the rest of you who can't, okay? I could do that in school, but all that did in that moment was allow me to pass the class. Most of that information, that I don't even remember anymore, so I need to be intentional by showing up, number one, my attendance matters, but by number two, be taking notes. If I want to learn, if I want this process of sanctification to be working in my life, these things have to be an intentional on my part. Jesus um, prays for his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane before his crucifixion in John 17, 7, and he says this, sanctify them, or, or have that process of sanctification, them by the truth. And then he says, your word is truth. So this process of being sanctified, or maybe fixing the cracks in our vision, and our frame, we need to understand that the word of God is true, is truth. We need to understand that what the Bible teaches is true. We need to understand that the best teacher possible is Jesus. Or God himself, he knows all right and all wrong. He has the ultimate knowledge of good and evil. And our job, now that we're saved, is to learn from him. And simply put in a point, we should never stop learning from God. 